Welcome back to the Off Grid Skater YouTube channel, and we're on another adventure with the Skate Nomad. In this episode, we finally venture out of California and deeper into the wild, wild west of the United States. After nearly getting lost in the middle of the desert on these dirt roads, we come across this spot, riding the dangerous canyons of the Moab. There's surprises at every twist and turn. Do we survive unscathed, or what will happen? Stay tuned to find out as we head into the great unknown of the off-grid. I've been everywhere, man. I've been everywhere, man. To the mountain, to the highway. I pee everywhere, man. I've been everywhere, man. I've been everywhere. <laughs> Along the way, we make a roadside stop and stumble across an old pioneer's cave dwelling of some kind. Are you down? No. I dared the skate nomad to sleep in the bed, but he wouldn't. I can understand why. What an interesting spot. It was scary. Check it out. There's still snow on those mountains over there. The deserts of the Moab are treacherous, but skate nomad and I were down for the adventure, and we had to skate this dream spot. It may not be a dream spot to others, but for us, it is perfect. The perfect off-grid skate spot. Shake, man. Oh my god. Off-grid. Mm. Off-grid car. Side. Oh, it looks so good, doesn't it? It looks like crazy. This one is smooth. Look at how treacherous the one is behind you. for your off grid episode. Where should we start? Should we go up and get, try to get a good shoot, uh, background? Somewhere and do maybe some flat?
God, that was sick. Fuck, I don't know how I made it. A good one.
Oh, no! <laughs> it needs to go that way anyway. It has a mind of its own. <laughs> Off grid, skate nomad tour. Bam! And that's a wrap, Moab. Off grid. <laughs> You're leaving Las Vegas. What was Las Vegas like? How does it feel being on the road? And what is it? How does it feel to be on your road to going home? So, Las Vegas was really hard because we spent like three days like editing in the room. Uh, I didn't do any sport. I barely walk. I only edit on my phone, eat, and piss, basically, for three days, and four days, and it could get me, it get me really crazy. Now we're back on the road, so that's really great. And I'm looking really forward to go back home after three years, because I didn't go there for three years. I never got homesick. Never happened to me before. I never got, got homesick, and I'm still not homesick. But there is one thing though, like uh, now, now that I'm closer and like I have some project there, I'm really excited. So I'm pretty, uh, I'm looking forward to it for sure. I'm always looking for more to Quebec than to the rest of the US for some reason. That's weird, man. Never felt that before. Interesting. That's really weird. But I, I, and also, I'm really excited to show you my fucking place. Uh, I can, yeah. like now okay, coming back there as a YouTuber, which when I left, first I was alcoholic. Was a drug addict. Um, I was partying all the time, but now coming back with all those new experiences, like I'm a different man, totally, yeah. to a totally different person. And it's weird. It's gonna be weird. It's gonna be nice. I'm really excited to come back. You know, this has definitely been a uh, quite a journey trying to be on the road, hanging out with Skate Nomad. We're at about three weeks, and um, you know, it's a lot of editing. It's a little mind numbing. It's not always easy, not always fun, but it's mostly fun. Yeah, it's, it's mostly fun. Definitely, it's definitely a passion of ours. It's definitely a passion of mine to do skateboarding, skate off off grid spots, and then also be able to like document it. Um, sometimes it's a little hard to both document and live the experience, and like with your friend, you know, because at the end of the day, we're friends and. You know, that's like the best part of the whole experience is just experiencing it together. And if we can throw some videos together for, for you guys, I mean, we can't. We, uh, we're doing for them for sure because, like, we can do all this without filming and we probably will have more fun doing it. Yeah. We have way less pressure. True. It's so cool to document it because we have still have memories and yeah. it's hard to be in the present and like doing content. Like, that's why, like, content is not for everybody. Yeah. And, but, you know, making a good video is fun. Like, Time I, I would like to skate two times a week without video, just like the skating, like Dan, Dan does. Yeah. I, and I'm trying to do that as well, usually, to do session without filming. Yeah, I think it's definitely um, important to try to find a healthy balance between create creating content and living your life. And uh, yes. I, I think that's been part of part of this journey right now. We're gonna go into some wilderness areas. We're gonna go off grid. Um, we're gonna also spend a lot less time off of our phones and computers, especially him, because I know he's caught up on videos. Uh, too much for me. <laughs> I don't want to be near a phone. I don't even want to look at the, the lens right now. I know, it actually hurts for us to do this right now. So uh, <laughs> anyway, I hope you all enjoy all of our content. See you on the road. <laughs>